Master clues are currently RuneScape's highest tier of clues, and obtaining them is quite the hassle. You can only get them as a lucky draw from other clues, or you can turn in an easy, medium, hard, and elite tier clue into Watson, and he'll give you a master clue. Before you can actually complete them, you need to do a whole variety of time-consuming things, such as meeting high skill requirements, doing dozens of lengthy quests, getting current favor, getting skilling outfits, Okay, I think you get the point. As you are solving the clue, you may encounter a step that requires you to wear a bunch of random gear, form an emote, and kill the guy that spawns in order to progress. The items needed for the clue step can be put in a stash unit, which simply makes getting the items more convenient while also saving some bank space. The master stash units consist of some very tedious items that could take hundreds of hours to get, especially for Iron Man. One of my long-term goals for my account is to get all of the gear required for every single master stash. That way I can pretty much complete every master clue I get and can slowly start working on getting some cool ornament kits or even the Bloodhound pet, which is arguably one of the coolest and rarest pets in the game. I already have a majority of the stash units filled, but I still have a few left over that require a good bit of grinding. This one in particular is what we're going to be focusing on today. Ryophyte a staff on its own is practically useless, only serving as an item that you can use while high alking to save a really small amount of money. Its only purpose is to serve as a staff unit item for master clues. Obtaining this item is a massive annoyance for Iron Man. The staff can be made using a regular battle staff with Briarfighter's Essence, which is a drop from the free-to-play monster giant boss. It's dropped at a rate of 1 in 118, which isn't too rare. That's not the problem. In order to fight Briarfighter, you need to use a monster key for every single kill. These keys are dropped from regular monster giants at a rate of 1 in 150. This rate can actually be lowered if you're killing them on a slayer task or killing them in the wilderness, but I killed them on the Varrock sewers off task for a large majority of the grind. But theoretically, in order to fight Briarfighter just one time, you need to kill 150 moss giants, and that's assuming you don't get unlucky. Thankfully, moss giants are fairly weak and die pretty fast, especially when using the dwarf multi cannon. But with that in mind, you essentially may need to kill tens of thousands of them in order to get out of mossy keys for the essence drop. By the way, this won't be a series video since this isn't the most exciting content, so I'll just be talking over a handful of clips showing what I got from killing over 10,000 moss giants. My gear setup consisted of my best in slot melee gear, and I did use a range setup for a small portion of this, but I didn't feel like wasting cannonballs as well as Zelda skills, especially since I wasn't killing the monster giants strictly in the wilderness. So you will see the range setup later in the video. I also brought items that store useful things like the herb sack, gem bag, and the swole bear. Seed box would be good too, but I don't have one since I'm just too lazy and don't want to do the tithe farm. Side note, I added the mossy key in the highlighted items list in the ground items plugin, which makes them glow a bright green color. That way it's much easier to spot the keys in the ground and made things a little easier. I just dropped my can and down on the Varrock sewers without a retaliate turned on and began slaying moss giants for roughly a week straight. The elites here of the combat achievements completed, my cannon can hold 60 instead of 30 cannonballs, which made it a bit more AFK. And as what most RuneScape players do, I threw something to watch in the other monitor and let my character do most of the work. All I had to do was pick up the keys and refill the cannon. The moss giant drop tables really aren't all that interesting. Just some runes, low level gear, herbs, seeds, gems, and some coins. The only things really worth picking up are the occasional Renar and Snapdragon seeds. Other than that, I pretty much let the majority of the other drops despawn. I also wasn't wearing a Ring of Wealth, so some of the items on the gem drop table are insanely rare to pull. I wasn't really keeping track of kills an hour, but typically I was able to get anywhere in between 1-3 to three keys an hour. Obviously, this is entirely RNG dependent. Sometimes it would take over 2 hours for a single key, and other times I would get 2 or 3 within minutes. I waited until I had 10 keys total, and then I'd go kill Briofida. I was tempted to stack the keys until I had 118 to see if I can get the essence drop by the drop rate, but I didn't feel like wasting time getting that many keys if I ever get spooned. Briofida fight itself is very easy considering it's a free to play boss. All you gotta do is throw in Protect Mage and smack the boss. Also, bring in a form of anti poison because sometimes you can get poisoned. Briofida spawns three minions occasionally, they make her immune, and all you gotta do is do at least nine damage to each one, and then you gotta use a pair of secateurs or an axe on them to finish them off. Sometimes the minions are resummoned and you gotta kill multiple times. Ryofida has pretty similar drops to regular monster lines, but they're turned up a notch. Such as the same runes in much higher quantities, way more money, higher level armor that makes for some good alkables, noted gems, and so on. Ryofida can also drop monster keys at a 1 in 16 rate, which is nice since sometimes you can get your key back. You can also get beginner clues that are guaranteed every kill, but I already got the mole slippers and don't really care about getting any of the other beginner clue items. I had already started this grind a while back, but didn't really make any significant progress. I just wanted a few kills to complete all the Briarfighter combat tasks, as I was working on getting the elite tier and the combat achievements. They are super simple, and you can finish all but one task in just one kill. It's a nice way to get some free points. At this point, I had already killed over 3.2 thousand moss giants, and I've gotten only 21 mossy keys, which is pretty much on rate. Just to have the drop rate of Briarfighter's Essence, assuming you get at least one key every 150 kills, you need to kill over 17,000 moss giants. 
Going dry on this grind would absolutely suck. At times like these, I sometimes regret playing Iron Man. If I was the main account, I could just pay measly 7 mil and move on with my life. But instead, here I am massacring these poor moss grinds for some silly little keys just to get a chance of getting a useless drop. On the bright side, once this is done, I never have to worry about it again. Anyways, I tried killing monster ants in the wilderness here using the blowpipe and the cannon, and I was definitely getting keys much more often. I'd say if you're actually playing the game and paying moderate attention, you should 100% do this grind in the wilderness. Keys noticeably drop a lot more frequently, and I never got PK, let alone attacked at all. I personally hate doing things in the wilderness, and I don't like being on edge while trying to AFK something, so I just went back to the sewers after doing this for a few hours. But yeah, if you can be bothered, just go to the wilderness and get the grind done there. Here I did another 10 Braf out of kills. Spoiler alert, didn't get the essence drop quite yet, just more of the same standard drops. I did roll items that are on the same drop rate as the essence, like the admin arrows or the admin kite shield several times, which is giving me a bit of hope. All I had to do was roll that drop rate on the drop table of the essence, and I'd be home free. After this Braf I trip, I ended up with 30kc, which was a little more than one fourth of the drop rate, so we still had a lot of work to to do, and work is exactly what we did. I was burning through cannonballs extremely fast and felt obligated to smelt some. Nowadays there are a lot of bosses that drop them and that's how I got up to a stack of 40k cannonballs. Most of mine came from the Corporeal Beast, Phantom Muspa, Abyssal Sire, and Cerberus. Even though you could passively obtain them through various forms of PVM, making them is super quick. Making steel bars with the Blast Furnace is really chill. All you need to do is throw some coal on the belt initially and then your iron ore. Once that is done, empty your coal bag and put that coal on the belt once more. If you are being super efficient, you can get over 5k steel bars an hour. I was getting around 4k while being pretty laid back, which is still pretty good. With the addition of the Giant's Foundry added a while back, they added the double cannon mold, which allows you to smelt cannonballs twice as fast. It only takes maybe 2 hours to obtain it, and once you do, you'll be printing cannonballs rapidly. I highly recommend getting it, especially for Iron Man. But luckily, my time spent doing this grind wasn't the worst use of time, since moss strands can drop Bernard seeds, and I was able to get tons of them throughout this grind, which will get me a lot of prayer pots. Snapdragon seeds are like 7 times rare, so I didn't get many of those. I was floating around the 5k kill count at this point, and I noticed that my long bone luck is pretty crazy. They are 1 400, and I have 18 of them at this point, so yeah, the math doesn't really add up. I also mistakenly didn't record the last 10 Briar Fighter kills, but don't worry, I didn't get the essence yet. I noticed a very strange message in the chat box saying I have a funny feeling that I would have received the champion scroll. For those that don't know, these scrolls are an extremely rare drop from a handful of monsters that allow you to fight a one-time mini boss and you get some solar XP from it. These scrolls are 1 in 5,000, so they're very rare. I remember I first got this drop years ago when I was safe spotting fire giants in the Stronghold Slayer dungeon, so I was definitely caught off guard when I saw this. After that, I sent yet another Bryophyta trip. During every single one of these trips, I was practically begging on my knees for this essence drop. This grind was pretty boring and I was ready to actually play the game again and do fun stuff like Chambers of Zeric or God Wars Dungeon. I did manage to get two key drops from this trip, which meant two free kills, but in the end, Bryophyta's essence was nowhere in sight. I wasn't even half the drop rate yet and I was getting so burnt out, but I had no option but to keep moving forward. As I mentioned earlier, sometimes it would take hours just to get one key, and here I somehow managed to pull four long bones before a single key. I thought that was pretty funny. After complaining about it, a key dropped like a minute later. Since we're talking about getting crazy drop odds, I also got another giant champion scroll. Things were getting pretty weird. I was getting some very rare drops. I got my second tooth key half and 9.8 thousand kills, which are 1 in 4,096. Then I got a second Thorstall seed and 10,000 kills, which are 1 in 3,833. To top it off, I got both a mossy key and a long bone on the same kill. For any of you math wizards, feel free to calculate those odds. With all these weird things happening within such a short time frame, I was feeling rather confident going into my next Briarfighter trip. This trip I got some Runite Bars, hit 69kc, got a single Limpboard Seed, and following that some more Rune Armor drops. Everything seemed pretty normal, but little did I know, this was the last time I would ever set foot in this arena. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Briarfighter's Essence at 73kc, the funny meme number. Man, you have no idea how happy I was to see this thing. I was genuinely happier getting the stupid drop than completing the Slurry Barracks. It was definitely nice to see it 40 kills under the drop rate. I know some people that didn't get theirs till the 2 or 300 KC mark, and my condolences go out to those people. Anyways, I quickly rushed to the bank and turned the Essence into a staff. We're 10,000 Moss Giants, roughly 30,000 Cannibals, and a whole week of killing Moss Giants. My journey was complete. Or at least that's what I thought. I also need a nature TR for this master stash unit, and somehow I didn't have any nature talisons lying around and had to go get one. You can get them as a rare drop from several different monsters. You can also get it as a reward from the Guardians of the Rift minigame, or you can buy it with pearls. But I didn't have any, so I packed my bags and headed straight to the abyss. All the creatures in here drop them at a 1 in 128 rates. The low level leeches die practically in one hits and respawn very fast, so I wasn't too worried about getting this drop. I got a nature talisman in like 20 minutes or so. Not much longer after that, I made a regular tiara, then I went to the nature altar and made the nature tiara. So I gathered everything I needed to make the stash unit along with the Barafita staff and the nature tiara, and just like that, I was finally done with this grind. No more getting screwed over by this master step that requires wielding a Barafita staff. Here's the final screenshot of the Moss Giant loot tracker. 
I did get 108 Renar Seeds and 14 Snapdragon Seeds, so at least we were getting something useful while doing this. As for some of the other drops, I got 420 in Soul Giant Hoods and 29 Long Bones. If I was using a Bone Crusher, the big bones would give me around 75k per XP, but I maxed, so I didn't really bother with that. It's hard to say whether or not this grind was worth it, but if you liked my Master Clues like myself, I'd say you probably should knock this out at some point. Speaking of clues, I got a really big casket opening coming soon. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. That will probably be the next video. Anyways, this was a bit different from the usual series video, so let me know if you like this video format. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.